Adjusting this one setting can make your monitor faster or look better depending on how you set it. Some monitors may have a slightly different name for this, but if you're using almost any monitor, especially a gaming monitor that is not an OLED panel, you will more than likely have different levels of overdrive available to you, which you can quickly select between at any time to improve your monitor's pixel refresh times or lower them in exchange for a more accurate image. You can change this within seconds at any time, and it's worth trying out the different options to see what fits you and the games you play best, whether you're looking to get the fastest response times possible or the best looking image. You can get Windows activated from as little as $16 using WhoKeys. Use the links in the description down below, choose from Windows 10, Windows 11, or Office. Use code PAN20 at checkout for an additional 25% off your order and to help support the channel. Pay via a secure payment method, including PayPal. Once purchased, your key will be available immediately. Head over to activate Windows, paste the key, will then have access to all Windows features and no more watermark. The Windows 10 keys will also allow you to upgrade to Windows 11. Use the links in the description down below and a massive thanks to WhoKeys for sponsoring this video. Before we jump into the monitor settings, ensure that you are using the best input method for your display. Most monitors these days will typically have both HDMI and DisplayPort. One input method may offer more bandwidth and faster refresh rate options, depending on the monitor in which you have. For example, the monitor I'm currently using and recording this video on is a 4K 160Hz panel, but through the HDMI port, I'm only able to get 4K 144Hz. So going over to DisplayPort, I'm able to get the most out of this display. All we need to do now is to boot into one or a few of your favorite games, I would recommend going with a game that you are very familiar with so you can see the before and after for yourself in an environment that you're somewhat used to so you'll easily be able to pick up on any changes from changing this setting. Once you've booted into your game, get into an area that you're somewhat familiar with and start wiggling around the mouse. You don't have to do it in circular motions, but just get a feel for motion and try and look at the edges of text or the edges of buildings so you can get a general feel of how these look in somewhat fast motion. At this point, all you then need to do is head over to your monitor itself. Somewhere along the monitor, you'll find physical buttons or in some cases, a joystick. Select the joystick or the physical buttons to enter into the monitor's menu. This will be available on practically all monitors that aren't OLED, so do look around in the settings menu of your monitor, and this setting may come under a few different names. For this particular monitor, I can navigate down to the gaming setup. Underneath here, I can then find the option for overdrive. Going with off and doing the same rough movements, I can immediately see that the image is starting to ghost quite a bit. It's very blurred and smeary, and it almost looks like I've got motion blur turned on. Heading back over to the overdrive settings, I could then also try out low. Once you enable this setting, once again, do the exact same mouse movement and see if you prefer how this looks. The more aggressive or higher you set the overdrive setting, the faster the pixel response times will be, giving you ever so slightly lower input latency. But before you're tempted to go right to the bottom and set it to the most aggressive mode for the lowest response times, you could introduce inverse ghosting. You'll typically see this on the edge of buildings, especially in more brighter environments, or even when just browsing on the desktop, you'll more than likely start to see some weird color fringing issues with text when it's moving if you do set this too aggressively. If you're someone that's seeking the absolute lowest latency possible, then that's completely fine, go with the most aggressive mode. But in my findings across all the displays in which I've tested this on, and what I typically will set automatically myself, is the second from highest mode of overdrive. For me on this display, it's titled middle. Once you select this overdrive setting, confirm it, go back into your game or your text or whatever test you're using for before and afters and do the same mouse movement or perform the exact same test. Going from overdrive set to off to middle is giving me a much sharper image in motion. I'm not getting that same smeariness that I was getting before where it almost looked like I had motion blur enabled and I'm able to see these targets still whilst I'm moving the mouse a lot clearer, especially when it comes to the text saying standard bot. If the second from most aggressive mode is fine for you, try going towards the most aggressive mode and just find out the balance of what you prefer. You may be someone that doesn't want any overdrive at all, you may want to go with a lower setting, or you may want to go with the absolute highest. And you've got yourself a free improvement to visual clarity and slightly lower response times. Remember, if you happen to switch over to a different input in your monitor, or if you go from HDMI to DisplayPort, and you can't understand why games either look crisper or slightly more blurry, it could be down to the overdrive setting actually being tied to your individual input method. So just jump into the settings whilst using that input method and adjust the overdrive setting to match. And there you have it. Let me know in the comment section down below if you happen to make any adjustments to your overdrive setting and what overdrive setting your monitor was defaultly using before you jumped into it. And if you are interested in more content like this, check out the playlist section in the description down below or check out one of the two videos on screen. I've been Pangino and I'll see you in the next one.